Which brings us to a point in this newscast where I want to bring our colleague Kevin Landers into the fold. You spoke with Castro's uncle, didn't you? That's right. This crime happened just a block from where the uncle works. He told me he can't believe his nephew could be associated with a crime like this, and he offered his apologies to the victim's families. Julio Castro says it's hard to believe the stories that people are telling him about his nephew, Ariel Castro. It's stunning, unbelievable. Why so? Because he was such a nice guy. He was one of my favorite nephews. Police say Castro was the main suspect in the disappearance of three women, Amanda Berry, Gina De Jesus, and Michelle Knight. Detectives say he held them hostage in his Cleveland home for roughly a decade. Castro's Seymour Avenue home is less than 100 yards from where his uncle works, a home that's now one of the most talked about crime scenes in the nation. If he did hide him for 10 and 12 years, that's, that's incredible. Castro says he hasn't spoken to his nephew in six years, but if he could, he would tell him this. How could you do this? Shame on you. What have you done to our family? What else can I say? To the victim's families, Castro's uncle offered his deepest sympathies. I apologize to the families that suffer for the suffering that my nephew caused and, and that I hope that uh, God looked down into us and, and help us uh, get over this. Now, Castro's uncle tells me his nephew is a divorced father of three grown children. Ariel Castro's father died in 2004. His mother still lives in town. I asked his uncle if he saw anything at all unusual about his nephew. He said no, which is why this is so shocking to him. Back to you, Jerry.